Hello friends, uh, in this video tutorial I am going to talk about a very very important way of utilizing the secondary uh, treatment of wastewater treatment plant. This is called a trickling filter system. Now utilizing this trickling filter system, uh, one can easily manipulate uh, the concentration of different uh, matters onto this uh, water, wastewater especially. Now here we can see uh, uh, in this secondary treatment of uh, wastewater treatment plant, we generally utilize a biological weapon. Uh, not actually in that sense. Biological uh, weapon means in this case to utilize uh, microorganisms for regulating the concentration of nutrients because uh, whatever wastewater we get most of the time uh, they consist of uh, the human waste that means phosphorus uh, as well as nitrogenous waste now what they uh, what we can do we need to remove this and in primary treatment there is no way of removing this dissolved phosphorus and nitrogen in the primary treatment we basically remove the solid materials but that's why we have to utilize the secondary treatment and utilizing the secondary treatment we can actually get rid of uh, this phosphorus as well as nitrate and uh, nitrogen components now in this case we are having microorganisms now there must be different way of utilizing these microorganisms onto this wastewater now here the basic idea is that you have water and w water consists of all those waste organic materials now utilize microorganisms we add microorganisms onto it and these microorganisms will work onto this wastewater they uptake the nutrients as a result the uh, the concentration of phosphorus and nitrogen uh, drops down and uh, the water is restored uh, to a very pretty fair uh, level right so this is the basic concept now for doing this we can utilize uh, this trickling filter system uh, we can also have the aeration basin in the aeration basin technique the basin is total a huge basin and is a reservoir of water we utilize the water we, we add the water then we uh, push air from the bottom portion toward the topper portion as a result mm, the, the and, and, and always uh, this water is in constant flow and water uh, air bubble pressure as a result uh, those microorganisms which are really really air loving or the aerobic organisms can easily grow on there and they can take up all those uh, nutrient sources now in the trickling filter system uh, we generally do not utilize a lot more about uh, water uh, content or a lot more wastewater we are utilizing the spray of wastewater now what we have made in this case you can just see in this picture which is the original picture now here we are having these pebbles or gravels like this so these are uh, stone or pebbles like this which are just uh, vigorously make a mattress like a mattress like structure now on to uh, in between this mattress or, or below this mattress what we have we are having a filter now now this filter is very very essential because through this filter no solid materials can pass onto the bottom layer where we are having the collection or the reservoir for the wastewater. Now uh, look at this very carefully we are having the wa wastewater reservoir here so we must have uh, the inlet of the wastewater from the primary treatment and that, that has to lie uh, somewhere here. So the inlet is there water will enter in this pathway which is denoted uh, in, this, in this picture in the upper picture so and and uh, and there must be a effluent uh, channel uh, also through which this uh, effluent will be released and will be uptaken for the tertiary treatment or the chemical treatment of the wastewater. Now here we are having all these things together. This is called a feeder pipe because through this feeder pipe we will give the microorganisms again. So in this feeder pipe, through this feeder pipe, we give the microorganisms and through this inlet we we, we uh, just enter uh, the those materials for uh, uh, those those uh, wastewater sorry now uh, now let us look at the procedure so what happens in this case uh, air uh, there is definitely a way for air flow so air flow uh, will come from this direction inlet is there that means uh, from this area uh, we are g giving those water now water is uptaken through this pipe so it's a pipe water will be uptaken from this pipe and this whole pipe is hollow that means this pipe will contain uh, enough room for containing this wastewater so wastewater can travel in both of the direction either in that or that direction and in between this upper um, rotary arm pipe there are uh, holes through these holes uh, water can come as sprays you can see in this picture pretty carefully all the spray is coming out and they will be sprayed onto the mattress which are being created uh, utilizing these pebbles so this is a filter made with uh, pebbles uh, or, uh, or made with all those small uh, stone chips and all these things so this is a genuine general media so nothing is special added into this place but we are having this feeder pipe uh, through this feeder pipe we are utilizing we are, gi we are giving this water 
also and also uh, we are adding microorganisms to these pebbles to these uh, stone chips so the stone chips or pebble is consisting of some special quality of microorganisms most of them are uh, in fact all of them are uh, aerobic because this uh, this this filter not all aerobic most of them are aerobic because most of the microorganisms that are present in the surface layer of this filter are are aerobic in nature because they are in direct contact with the uh, environment and some of the microorganisms present are anoxic here some of the microorganisms present here uh, may be anaerobic because they can present at, at the bottom layer of this uh, of this filter now this filter can be thick uh, uh, it, it depends on the type of filter you are, you are utilizing and that depends on the type of wastewater you are de dealing with now what the basic principle is that there is a feeder pipe through which the water comes in and it will go and spray onto this pipe now it will stay on here for several times and it took some time for the water to reach from top towards the bottom and finally when it reaches the bottom it hit uh, this uh, this filter support and through this filter again this water is filtered and uptaken by this reservoir so this is the basic process as you can see now uh, now through when when the water travels from the upper uh, layer towards the lower layer it takes many time for example 2 to 3 or some sometimes 4 5 hours uh, to get reach onto this lower level through this time uh, the bacteria which are placed here they utilize all the nutrients which are present in this wastewater for example the nutrients like uh, phosphorus or like nitrogenous waste they will uptake all these things and finally when the water reaches the bottom they almost uh, almost ready for discharge into the water stream but still we need to do a several round of works because this water may contain the bacterial and microorganism cells because uh, these microorganisms uh, are working on the water so for this filter ensuring two two things one is that the water is purified in the second round uh, get rid of all the bacterial cells or microorganism cells and second thing is that uh, any solid materials uh, uh, will be blocked onto this filter so only liquid parts uh, can come onto this collection chamber okay so these two things are really really important and this is the basic part of doing this now why we are utilizing uh, stone chip materials instead of a, a, of a total uh, total mattress now the answer is here is to increase the surface area remember if you utilize only one slit in this place uh, that will have a very fewer surface area but when we are making uh, it uh, like this made with pebbles or made with the stone chips it, it dramatically increases the surface area now in this case you can see uh, this mattress always looks like this green because of presence of microorganisms presence of algae and all these things onto this because it, these are water and water loving algae algae always try to grow onto them some of those algae are also helpful for for uptaking nutrients so uh, we won't mind whether the algae are going or not but we need to take a care that in this water we need to reshuffle all those bacterial cultures as they are drying out so uh, one thing we have to make sure about the strickling filter that never uh, we we ne we can't allow the strickling filter to be dried out because as it is drying out, all the microorganisms present there start to die. So that's why we need to give uh, them this food, and their food in this case is this wastewater, which is getting purified as they are uptaking all their nutrients from the water. So throughout this uh, trickling filter system, once when the water is passed, now as a result, uh, almost of, uh, most of the part, almost. Uh, 70 80 or 90 percent of the, the of those bod count is decreased in this case and as a result uh, the water is getting purified through this step so it's a very very crucial step now you can see uh this purifier this trickling filter system now this is uh, small this is not that much big but it can be much more bigger depending upon the uh, the amount of water you're do dealing with okay so this is all about trickling filter system and i hope it will help you thank you